Well, it's a sunny winter day here in Toronto, and um, this is about as bright and sunny as it gets here in the winter. Just about noon, full sun. And throughout this winter, this is a time when those living in northern parts of the world are really feeling this kind of winter bleakness. There's a grayness to it, dull, colorless. You can just see the, the silence, the, the death all around. It, and of course the darkness. Down here, it's, we're down to eight hours of sunlight uh, per day, 16 hours of night out of every day. And the brightest it gets is when we have snow on the ground, but most of the time it's just sort of a dull gray uh, with the gray, slushy, uh, dirty snow, uh, sort of rotting brown dead leaves. And th really the word bleak really applies uh, to this place, this time of year. And really, this is just the beginning. Cause this is this is really five months of the year here in Toronto, and you know it's different for every every city. Every city would have its own schedule of when it's most bleak, and some might be bleaker than others. Some might be bleak all the time, but it leads to this very common feeling of wanting to be somewhere else. Uh, endless uh, discussions of wanting to go to the beach. The beach, uh, some kind of a tropical, imagined paradise. Uh, you can see it in advertising. You'll be walking down the snowy, cold, windy street, and then the bus shelter will have a big, colorful picture of a Caribbean beach. Uh, frolicking on the beach and so this is this is sort of a collective dream uh, that is very powerful uh, here in the winter what is this what is this place that uh, is so sought after uh, we imagine of course tropical sunshine warmth um, a pristine beach, uh, warm water, uh, maybe white sand, palm trees, uh, and it's connected with notions of leisure, uh, notions that we would be able to sit on this beach, uh, possibly sipping a drink uh, while catching sunshine and having not a care in the world. So it's easy to see how this dream can be powerful when we're in a cold winter far away from any habitable beach and uh, working regularly. The thought of not having to work and being on a beautiful beach in a warm tropical place is very attractive. But then you look at what it's like actually in those places when you're living in a tropical beach world like you don't it isn't just sitting on a beach sipping a drink I mean there's serious work to be done um, there's a lot of the reality of this sort of tropical beach paradise uh, the dirty jobs the uh, the difficulties uh, the struggles the poverty the, the crowds, the noise, the crime, all the kind of reality of this. Of course, there's still beautiful beaches and beautiful moments on beaches to be had, but there is no real paradise beach where no one has cares and we can sort of go back to this innocent, childlike, playful state. That place does not exist, as far as I know. Although you know, some people will say, will tell you how to get there. Um, they're usually selling something. Uh, I would be curious if anybody has uh, 
suggestions of places that maybe approach this. But really what it seems to me is that this state, this, this paradise that we dream about is really something in our own minds. It is a state of mind. This paradise, it's a way of thinking, a way of dealing with the world that gives us that paradise state of mind. So what is it? A sense of the beauty around us, uh, a sense of a freedom from having forced things that we must do, a sense that there's, a, there's an expansiveness, a sense that we have some flexibility and free time, a sense of not having to hurry. In fact, a sense that we don't have to live by the clock, that we can live at a slower pace or at a freer pace, a sense of playfulness, that we can have fun and not be heavily serious about everything. And it seems like those things are things that you could have on a tropical paradise beach, or you could not. You could be just as stressed and anxious on a paradise beach as anywhere else. And is it really possible to have such a feeling and such a disposition in the gray, snowy winter of the North? Why not? It's all in how we look at it. And although having a beautiful sunny day at the beach may make it easier uh, and help to get us in that good state of mind, it's no guarantee of it. So it seems like with this, this idea of finding paradise is something that we can create within ourselves. Make that state of mind in yourself. It's not just pretending. It's not about pretending that, you know, it's not cold. Um, but it's kind of seeing that it doesn't matter. Those external conditions are secondary. And that it's our attitude towards life that really defines whether we're in heaven or hell. So it's a hard sell to somebody who's, you know, in the middle of winter to tell them that, but I really believe that it is about the way that we choose to live and that ultimately it doesn't make a difference what the weather is. Ultimately, it's the weather inside that makes the difference. Uh, so this sounds uh, very uh, hopeful and idealistic. And uh, over the course of this winter, I'm going to see what I can make of it.